A lot of guys, when they do come into the dating industry or when they join any kind of dating community, I think they're really sold on this idea that, you know, dating women is going to just solve every problem that they've got. But after the 15 years experience, at least that I've had, that really isn't the case. It tends to be more of a distraction, I think, for men and gets them to avoid working on the the roots of their problems that they do have. And instead, it just tends to develop more an addictive side to the traumas or problems that they've got already. So if you consider like any other uh, person who has an addiction, like if someone's got an addiction to drinking or drugs even, you know, they rely on them to help them to feel better about themselves. And it certainly doesn't fix whatever the initial problem was. And when guys are jumping into dating communities who are just selling the dream of like, you know, date all these women that you want and stuff. It's nothing more than just a placebo, but still an addictive one at that, that is just getting guys just to develop sex addictions. And a lot of them do tend to ruin their relationships or are unable to know how to even sustain a relationship. And I don't mean with the partners that they are dating or sleeping with like they actually lose touch with reality with the people that they also care about the most so like friends and family and I've known so many men over the years who have ruined those kind of friendships and relationships because of the addiction that they've got to doing street approaching or to doing day game or whatever so this is why like I am so cautious about men that do enter the community don't get me wrong i think it's great that guys want to work on their dating lives but i also have to make sure and this is why i step in that they are doing it from a place that it's just going to be an add-on to their lives rather than it being a distraction from it if a guy doesn't have a job, if he's overweight, he's unhappy with his life, he's got no friends and stuff, dating women is not going to solve any of his problems. He might then go spending hours upon hours chatting to women on the street or in bars and clubs and stuff. And yes, he might develop his confidence. But underneath all that, he's still going to be a very insecure person and he's going to be unhappy with his body and he's going to be unhappy with who he is. And maybe there's even a sense of he has to try and prove himself and get validation from other people. But ultimately, it's not fixing any of those initial problems. And this high that he's getting from just dating women, again, it's no different to any other drug that a person would take. And as we know with these other drugs, if you take too much of it, it's not good for you at all. And it can be dangerous for your health and well-being and I suppose even mental well-being at that. So what can be done about it? Well, when you're for, for this is this is really for the for the beginners, the new the new people who are working on their lives, um, and maybe even guys who have been in this industry. Hopefully they can agree with me um, on this, but for guys who are new to this industry, you've got to come into it very level-headed. Don't let it be the belief that it's going to just change and fix everything in your life. Yes, you'll develop your confidence and yes, you'll learn to be more independent and develop those leadership skills. And also you will develop some level of social skills but these are still a fraction of the things that you would learn to what you would get if you were socializing, making friends, being part of healthy communities that give you a sense of belonging rather than just developing this, uh, this uh, skill of the five minute sales pitch that gets you on dates, you sleep with someone for a night and then that's it. You desensitize yourself or over desensitize yourself too much that you won't know how to keep or form relationships in future. And you could end up distancing yourself from people and ruining your life. 
just as much as someone who uh, is an alcoholic. They drink all of their money away, literally, and they just don't know how to talk to people. They All the traumas that they have, they just bury it with more and more alcohol. And even with people who have every kind of narcotic uh, available as well, the problem, in fact, with that is that you feel that you need more. That desensitization, you feel that you need more to fill that exact same hole that was there. And even in dating, you'll get to a point that it will be, you'll be desensitized to it. You just won't feel anything from dating lots of women anymore. And then you start trying to step it up. And this is where guys go really weird and things do go dark because they start going down this angle of like purposely wanting to ruin relationships and friendships with people because that's what gives them some kind of feeling. So there's certainly a danger where you can become very um, sociopathic and maybe even psychotic by just numbing yourself to things that you have to have some feeling towards. You have to have some sympathy or empathy to people. Now, again, this is weird like any other drug as well. And I just don't want to see people years later who are still doing the exact same thing, still saying the exact same lines and routines, and they have no friends. They, their family have, want to have nothing to do with them. They have no job because they focused on just dating women rather than trying to have an income and have a normal life. It's not a life to just be wandering on the street 24-7 and just ch chatting and chasing women. Just don't be that guy. Unfortunately, I have known many dating coaches over the years who obviously, because it's part of their job to be chatting to women all the time, they, they have completely gone off the radar. They have developed addictions to, to sex. And even because of the numbness that they get to forming relationships with people, they have had to rely on drinking and drugs to give them that extra added effect of just feeling something once again. And I don't want guys to, to go down that route. It's not a healthy avenue um, to do. So, but what can you do? You need to come into this remembering that this needs to be just an extension of your life. As much as there will always be this rush of uh, endorphins when you're getting good results, flirting with women or dating women that are far more beautiful than you could have ever imagined, but don't let that overrun your life. Treat it the same as if you were drinking or or with people doing drugs, that there is a point that you can overdo it. And don't let that distract you from having friendships or just having a normal life as well. And to even finish this video off, um, uh, kind of a, uh, a quote that I came up with, which uh, I think really says it all, and it is a bit of an innuendo uh, as well, but I think men, uh, you, you won't, uh, uh, let me, let me say it right. Cause it's been a little while since I have said it, but if you, uh, if you, if you're filling a hole, you won't feel whole just because you might be dating women and you develop this addiction to sex. It's not going to make you feel better about yourself. You might be having lots of experiences, but the validation that you're getting, you're not going to get that really from other men. Um, they are living their own lives. They are doing their own things. So you have to ask yourself, you know, with sleeping with lots and lots of women, what exactly does that mean to you? Now, it's fine if you do, but just don't neglect any other areas of your life as well. Don't be consumed by the dating community because there are a lot of bad eggs anyway within it as well. And I just don't want you to end up self-harming or committing suicide because of just bad things that have happened to you. And 
unfortunately I have known people who have gone crazy and have done those other things as well and I just don't want to hear about that sort of stuff and it's because they've also been led again with this wrong belief to how relationships with other people need to be. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video um, and you know what are your thoughts with um, people developing an addiction to, to chasing women and what do you think they should be doing to just, you know, maintain it at a healthy level? Be open to dating and even dating lots of people, but how can someone do it in moderation? But other than that, like and subscribe to the channel. I want to be able to help as many men as I can. And the way that I do, I can do that is by having more and more people engage in my content as well. And if you are suffering from um, any traumas and you know that you're suffering from traumas whilst you are going out dating and you want to work on the root of the problem so you can form better relationships with the women that you're dating or the friends that you're trying to make then do reach out to me and we can have a consultation about how integral eye movement therapy or maybe even my life coaching might be of benefit to you as well so Thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned to more content.